You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, has stressed the importance of enhancing international cooperation towards reaching economic recovery and the desired fiscal stability. The stability would contribute to achieving sustainable development goals, supporting economic development, which will benefit everyone. The minister's statements were made as he addressed the World Bank Group, the WBG's Development Committee, on the sidelines of the annual meetings of the boards of governors of the WBG and the International Monetary Fund, as Bahrain represented the Arab Group and the Maldives in the meeting. He highlighted the importance of adopting an integrated, comprehensive and flexible approach to achieve sustainable development goals, reduce poverty and achieve shared prosperity. He pointed out that supporting the main drivers of productivity and growth is essential through expanded investments in individuals, societies and economies. Sheikh Salman also called for continuing work to address the negative effects resulting from COVID-19 and to protect health and social systems in small and conflict-affected countries, noting the importance of increasing the production of COVID-19 vaccines and ensuring their equitable distribution. The Minister of Finance and National Economy also urged the World Bank Group to develop a clear action plan that includes setting and activating priorities, reconsidering the needs of developing countries through the exchange of experiences and expertise and exploring effective solutions to mitigate the effects of debt on the countries and to achieve the optimal use of available resources. He also highlighted the importance of supporting the private sector and strengthening its growth being one of the engines for achieving economic recovery and enhancing financial stability in addition to continuing to work on creating new job opportunities to promote gender equality. On the other hand, the minister pointed out the importance of sp speeding the World Bank Group's operations related to carbon capture and storage, the CCUS, a concept approved by the Group 20 under the chairmanship of Saudi Arabia for the circular carbon economy. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adel bin Abdurrahman al-Asumi, has asserted that the kingdom has attained many widely recognized human rights achievements thanks to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa's directives. In this regard, he highlighted the package of initiatives adopted by the kingdom to consolidate the human rights principles as a result of His Majesty the King's direct support for the state of the law and institutions, as confirmed by His Majesty while opening the fourth session of the fifth legislative term. Al-Asumi was speaking while chairing the inaugural meeting of the second session of the third legislative term of the Arab Parliament held at the Arab Parliament's headquarters today. Addressing the session, al Asumi indicated the steady development of human rights systems in the kingdom in line with His Majesty the King's directives to begin putting in place the necessary executive mechanisms to adopt the programs of reforming and opening prisons in the kingdom, which represents a pioneering quantum leap resulting from a civilized and enlightened mindset in the field of human rights. The AP speaker also shed light on other initiatives currently implemented by the kingdom, such as the alternative sentencing system and the restoration of justice for children, which are consistent with the highest international standards of human rights. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,170,371 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,132,352 had taken the second, and 393,048 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. The Ministry of Health, meanwhile, said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 618 with 66 recoveries, 63 registered new cases and no deaths. 19 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 36 were contacts of active cases and 8 were travel-related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.